Hello everybody, welcome back, C-Ray Tech here. So, I've got a new build. It's been a while since I've been able to do uh, kind of a Franken-Whoop. Um, and these are always the most fun builds, just because <clears throat> you gotta utilize what you got. You know, um, I had some parts laying around and Beta FPV was so gracious enough to send me over the 65 Pro frame. And uh, I have to say, they knocked it out of the park again. Beta FPV has the best frames. Um, they always have. They are made out of the best material. Uh, it's basically impossible to break them. Um, I have broken some 65S struts, but I have still yet to actually break a 75 frame. Uh, the only time <laughs> was when one got ran over by a truck, uh, which I'll Put a link in the description if you're interested in that so yeah frames pretty good so i had some parts laying around and like i said i had to build myself a little brushless franken whoop so m a lot of this came out of the bold clash b whoop 05 uh, that ran off the fish pepper stack uh, this one has a f3 flight controller with a 5 amp 4 in 1 esc uh, the stack is really small, 16 by 16 millimeter form factor, and you will notice, if, well you might not be able to see it, let's see if we can get in there, let's see if we can get this to focus, uh, there we go. So the ESC is directly wired to the flight controller, so it's just kind of a little bit of a jumbled mess of wires between. Um, which isn't too bad. It kind of made the build, I mean, it didn't really make it easier or I didn't really notice a difference between using one of these like um, little Super S fly towers. Um, the ESC is definitely smaller on the fish pepper, but I mean, build wise, if I were to compare building the Ghetto Whoop, or I'm sorry, Ghetto Whoop to Ghetto Bird with the Franken Whoop. Uh, Franken Whoop was a lot easier. <clears throat> Big reason was because I didn't have to assemble the frame. Now, I actually had a lot of fun and I really enjoy this frame. Um, it's very strong, uh, it's light, and uh, I mean, it was just cool. I, I like the fact that it's a combination of the Deloran and the carbon fiber. Um, it's, got a, it's got a cool look, and if I bust a duct, I can just buy another one. I don't have to toss out the whole frame. So that's something that I appreciate. So back to the Franken Whoop. So like I said, I used the B-Whoop 05 guts. So for that, that was the fish pepper stack. And I used their um, 0703 20,000 kV motors. And these motors are rated only for 1S. So I'd originally pulled these out and I was gonna use them on the original frame. And I was gonna use that Super S fly tower. Cause unfortunately, in a previous build, with this fish pepper stack, I ripped the antenna and the pad off. So my range is very, very short right now. But I'm working on getting that fixed. So I gotta trace where the pad was and see if I can find somewhere to get a little bit of solder in just to get a antenna put in place. But hopefully I can get that done pretty soon. Right now, I've, like I said, I've got pretty short range, but I can fly around downstairs fine. I'm using a gnarly FPV, four blade props. And uh, those are those have a, a one millimeter shaft uh, compatibility, so uh, check them out. They've got a pretty good deal running on those props right now, so I'll put a link in the description. I'm using Beta FPV H01 camera, great camera. It's a VM275T variant. This one is version 1.2 to be specific. And uh, I, I've been flying this with the Gaonang 450s and the Beta FPV 260 milliamp hour high voltage batteries. Um, I've I can't really speak on flight times just yet, mainly because um, I flew it a little bit yesterday. I just finished the build last night, and uh, to be honest. I was just making sure it was working on the Maiden, so I really wasn't keeping track of that other stuff. So I hope that uh, in an upcoming video this week, I can give you guys a little bit more information on that. But while I got you here, let's take a look at some other 
important bits about this. I was very surprised by the weight. So this little guy came out dry at 22.3 grams. So if we take a look at the Beta 65S, it's lighter. 24.3, 22.2. So dry weight without even the battery. It's already lighter than a brush build, which is sweet. That is one of the huge advantages to these tiny little brushless builds is the motors are lighter than the brush motors. So that's pretty cool, 22.2, huh? So we're looking at a light, powerful, brushless whoop. And you can take this anywhere. I mean, if I had a canopy, which I need to do, I'm gonna do a malt mod so I can put a canopy on this. But if I had a canopy on this, I mean, I could easily just run around with a little case like this, and I got myself a brushless go anywhere quad. So yeah, definitely check this out. If you guys are interested in this little case, it's a pretty cool case. Um, I'll put a link to this in the description to this too. I'll have links to all the parts, so if you guys wanted to build one like this. Um, in fact, last night I was looking at Bold Clash's website, and they are selling the fish pepper stack for 24 bucks. I paid double, I believe, when I bought it. So that's awesome. I mean, that's cheaper than most brush flight controllers. So definitely hop over there and check those out. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, giving me a thumbs up would be awesome. And if uh, you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to leave me a comment. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have some flight footage showing up right after this. And uh, I think it's going to be all. So as always, fly safe, fly often, guys.